think that fat can think. be beautiful. It's my assessment of my it looks, looks right? Yeah, but why, yeah, okay. why is it that your own I assessment of your looks has nothing right. to do with how the external world perceives you? That's my problem. Because it has shit to do with the external world. The question says, ask everyone to rate their own looks on a scale of 1 to 10. So even if you think I'm busted, disgusted, and crusted, if I, if, if I, when I look in that mirror and I see a motherfucking 10, I'm going to tell you I look like a 10. To me, I could care less what you or the outside world thinks. I don't care about other people's and how opinion can a, of how me. Can it's you not more important than the opinion of the I want myself. Yeah, and it is. You don't, you don't no, it's that, not. That sucks it's not. If there's a value judgment of how you would self-assess your own looks, right. the only possible conceivable metric I could even think of would be the perception of how other people view you. No, because you're a loser, bro. That's what losers do. Losers say, how does the world see me? Okay, I'll mark myself a four. Because I'm pretty sure the average human being will see me as a four. Instead of saying, I don't give a fuck what the world thinks. I'm a motherfucking ten. Triple T G gang, we back in this thing. You already know what it is. If you do not know who I am, my name is Diamond. I run this channel called True to the Game. You already know why you came today. Today, man, as you guys can tell by the title of the video, what we're gonna get into before we do go cop the merch, man. True to the Game merch is out. True to the Game is on the front. Stop simping is on the back. Also, if you want my help directly. Hit the link in my description down below to book a call with me. You ain't got no bitches you want one. You got one bitch you want a ton. Hit the link in my description down below to book a call with me. That way we can get you on the right path. All right? If you are pimping out a simp like this video, comment your thoughts down below. Hit the subscribe button. Select all notifications so you do not miss an upload where I'm getting you closer to being a pimp. Less of a simp. Let's get into it. Let's do it. Hitler, ask everyone to rate their looks on a scale of 1 to 10. Their looks. Physical looks. Scale 1 to to ten, we'll start with you. We'll go around the table. Go ahead. Eight. So eight point five. Eight. Eight point five. I'm ten. Seven. <laughs> eight. Six point five. And to be fair, these ratings are irrelevant because what's a ten to me might look like a six to you, and vice versa. So. This whole scale shit is pretty much always going to be inaccurate because everybody has their own preferences, right? So keep that in mind. Uh, I'd say 7.58. And also the way you perceive yourself is going to be different than other people perceive you as well, right? Somebody might think that I'm a 10, but maybe I think that I'm a 6 and vice versa. You know what I mean? 4. Is that that's lower than last time. I I used to. Did this nigga say he feels like he's a four? Oh my God, Jesus! Say six. I'm a five. In front of all these wow. beautiful women, how could I ever not humble myself down to a four? Really? <laughs> Proud of you, Andrew. Yeah. It's a good. I'm a five. I give myself a five. So wait, eight, eight point five, ten, seven, eight. Okay. All He's right. Brian, you rated yourself lower than usual. <laughs> yeah, I've dropped. I've been Wait, getting a little chubby. Yourself? Six and a half. <laughs> getting a little chubby. See, now that's yeah. humble. Yeah, yeah, that's humility. That's right humble. There. That's, that's humility. humility. <laughs> right? That's the thing that's you. This nigga's about to say some stupid ass shit. I'm already knowing, though. It's actually harder for men to do. <laughs> just, just say it. Just point it. I've noticed a pattern here. I think men tend to fairly <laughs> accurately self assess their own level of physical attractiveness, whereas. I've heard women men have so more self-esteem issues than women do. What's that? I've heard men have more self-esteem issues than women do. Mm. Uh, I, like I disagree a little bit. Well, I disagree on that one. Would you say that? Just, and I also heard that they're also more emotional. Um, Are they? Who have you heard? I will say there's some emotional ass niggas out there. There's some niggas with worse self-esteem issues than, than women out here. You know what I'm saying? Like, modern day times... I think it's pretty neck and neck, to be honest, you know? If we're going back to the history of men, cavemen, and, and women, then I would say yes. Back in the day, men were definitely more secure in themselves than women. Nowadays, pretty neck and neck. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, because, well, I mean, you guys will mm -hmm. act off based off pride, and that is gonna be like an emotion thing. Um, not necessarily logic. Okay, do you think but, men or women have more cosmetic surgery? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I think probably women. Yep. Niggas out here getting BBLs now. You know what I'm saying? Knee surgeries, ab surgeries. How you gonna get abs installed, bro? These niggas are getting ab installations. This shit is really wild. Probably women. Do you think that that's <laughs> because they have way more self-esteem than men? I don't point. think that necessarily what I'm talking about is the same thing. I just mean... Nah, like, well, I think it is. Metric. Well, for instance, for instance, you just rated yourself a four, right? Yeah. And, and maybe people may not agree with you, and I just rated myself... Some people might look at him as a temp. Everybody on this panel, I want you to know, everybody on this panel will probably get a low rating from somebody. Everybody on this panel will probably get a high rating from somebody. It just depends on who you ask. That's why I say this whole scale shit is bullshit. Self attend and people may not agree with me, right? Mm -hmm. But we're just talking about simple our self esteem. My self esteem is clearly higher. No, than I'm not sure that we are. I think that what we're talking about is value judgment, and I think that I'm making a way better value judgment than the value judgment that you're making. So the mm -hmm. value judgment that I'm making is this: I'm old and I'm married and I'm out of shape and I smoke. Right, and I'm not a very pleasant person to be around for long periods of time, especially for the opposite sex. Like I know all of these things about myself, so my value judgment overall is a four. Tell me the value judgment of how you came to a ten. Oh yeah, um, I just think that in general we should think that we are great. Right, so you just decided it with there's no value judgment there. You just decided it. Yeah, he asked me what I would rate myself, and yeah. because it's my opinion looks. about myself, just looks. I am. I'm, I'm, it took a long time for me to love myself, and I do now. And so, yeah, I think that, like, you know, I'm, I'm, my, I'm my misty ten. I have a question I, for you. Wait, wait, hold on, just one sec. Um, do you and think you're a seven five? I said eight. Oh, yeah, get it right. <laughs> how Andrew. did you? Get it, how did you come to that value judgment? Because I don't put within my value within a rigid, uh, rigidity. A rigidity? That's not the right word. Rigidity. 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 Yeah. Um, I don't put that within that rigidity of certain, I guess... Value judgments. More subjective opinions about what value is. Because I know my value. I know my worth. And I know my beauty that I hold within myself for myself. And that is appreciated by other right. people. Because at the end of the day, beauty is subjective, mm -hmm. and She's it right. is absolutely within my right to hold myself to a higher value in how I conduct myself in the world around me. Yeah, but the, when you're talking about She's the right. value judgment here, my wife, I'm sure that she has a way higher value judgment of me than I have of me. I would agree that she probably should. From her subjective assessment, she probably thinks I'm a great provider. She thinks I'm a great father. She thinks I take care of all of my responsibilities and duties. She can 100% trust me. Um, so she probably has this really high value judgment of me. But when I'm doing an actual assessment of me, like Andrew Wilson, the person, and my looks and how it's reflected outwards to other people, right? I'm adding this value, this value, this value, this value, this value, like a mathematical formula to come up with. That equals four. What are you doing to come up with that other than I just think that we should have high self-esteem so that we... Because I just think so. Because I know I'm a good person. Because, frankly, if we want to get aesthetic, I don't have a busted face. I'm fat. And if people want to reduce my value because of my fatness, that's not my problem. And that is not the um, ideology I hold for myself. I love what she's saying here, man. I love, the, I love what she's saying right here, man. Because a lot of people could argue that how can she see herself as an eight? But I think it's such a beautiful thing that she does see herself as an eight. You know? true value is within the eye of the beholder right and you need to properly assess yourself like he said that he thinks that his wife will probably hold him in higher esteem and look give him a higher rating than he gives himself i think that that's actually not a good thing you know <laughs> i actually think that you yourself should be holding yourself in high esteem you know if not more than your your partner does right and because i do that my partner gets the benefit of how i feel about myself right i feel great about myself therefore that spills on to other people who are in my presence you know so it's all about valuing yourself loving yourself regardless of what you look like on the outside like she said i'm fat and i own that shit. you know what i'm saying and i think that that's a beautiful thing a lot of people might say that that's corny a lot of people might say that that's just she's living in a fairy fairy 
airy fairy world at the end of the day you have to understand that it is her world it is her reality it is her, her perception so the fact that she can say look this is who i am and i don't give a fuck what any of you guys say this is like the value that i place on myself this is what i believe about myself that's really all that matters right that's all that matters um i am someone who is pursuing weight loss not for aesthetics not for looks but for health. my health, health. and it's something that. i'm moving forward with I because that. i have been for the past two to three years now working on my self-love and loving myself into a place to care enough about myself to take my health back into control when I was being consistently shamed when I was gang stalked on r slash fat people hate in 2015 when I have like it worked. Out. I'm still about, speaking I mean, it looks like it works I'm still right? speaking it and works you get, because you're gonna you change know, you're really great at over talking and being disrespectful and I'd love the opportunity to get my point but, across okay but the, so just just to cut in here a little bit the original question was rate your looks because <laughs> yeah. you mentioned your personality you have a great personality or whatever it is and i and like he i said my fatness doesn't devalue me why so i'm an a why doesn't it because i think that fat because you can think. be beautiful it's my assessment of my it's looks perceptive. right yeah but why yeah, okay. why is it that your own I assessment of your looks has right. nothing to do with how the external world perceives you that's my problem because it has shit to do with the external world the question says, ask everyone to rate their own looks on a scale of 1 to 10. So even if you think I'm busted, disgusted, and crusted, if I, if, if I, when I look in that mirror and I see a motherfucking 10, I'm going to tell you I look like a 10. To me, I could care less what you or the outside world thinks. That's how you know. He's an insecure ass dude and all a lot of these podcasters, man, in the manosphere red pill space, you see insecurity after insecurity after insecurity because everybody is so superficial, not understanding that it doesn't matter how many muscles you have, right? How many BBLs you have, right? No matter what you do on the outside to try to change your perception of yourself is never going it's going to be fleeting it's never going to be permanent because permanent change has to be cultivated from within point blank period all these guys are superficial as fuck i'm not saying that you can't like what you like and have your own preferences right but if your self-esteem is built on how many muscles you have and oh my god i have a zit today and oh my gosh like my hair is fucked up today or oh my gosh like you know whatever it is on the external in the external world bro you're never gonna have true confidence within yourself you're never going to have true love for yourself because you must love yourself and you must see that 10 in the mirror whether you're having a good hair day or a bad hair day, right? That can only come from within you. And that's the point that he's missing and a lot of these red pill manosphere niggas are missing, right? Because they can't get deep enough. The average G.I. Joe ass nigga is thinking just how they think. Because they have their own set of insecurities that are being confirmed and validated by these podcast ass niggas, bro. Right? So it's just, man, it's just, this is just crazy. I don't bro. give a shit. Right, because you don't care, so there's no I real value about, judgment. I don't care about other people's and how opinion can a, how of you. Can it's you not more important than the opinion of the I want myself. Yeah, and it is. You don't, you don't no, it's that, not. That sucks it's not. If there's a value judgment of how you would self-assess your own looks, right. the only possible conceivable metric I could even think of would be the perception of how other people view you. No, because you're a loser, bro. That's what losers do. Losers say, how does the world see me? Okay, I'll mark myself a four. Because I'm pretty sure the average human being will see me as a four. Instead of saying, I don't give a fuck what the world thinks. I'm a motherfucking ten right i'm that nigga i don't care if you see that i'm that nigga or not i'm that nigga give a fuck this dude is just a, a square an insecure ass square so even though he had that little spat with wes watson right where a lot of people felt like he had the upper hand he's still a fucking loser who's in, just as insecure as wes watson bro even think of 
would be the perception of how other people view you for your value judgment. And of I, look, he's shaking his head too. The black guy's shaking his head too. He's just like, come on, dog. I've been in a you relationship look, for almost eight years with someone that, who though. thought my how body you, how could he, was how the could most come beautiful up with a thing he like, had ever seen. That was perceptive. And he had told me that, those are the things that more often than not. Go ahead. He, and that's the thing, man. You can never have, you can never be solid in your confidence and, and truly love yourself if you're basing your own perception of how you feel about yourself based on how the world sees you right what type of grown-ass man does that really what type of grown-ass man says that because they said it that's who i am instead of defining for yourself who you are regardless of what the outside world says and thinks he had yeah, told really? me that more often Wait, than can not. You speak certain yeah, things? he had told me that more often than not. I have been pursued by many men who think I am gorgeous and I agree. beautiful. I'm that perception sure. exists whether you have it or not. Mm -hmm. Okay, so assume Absolutely. for a second. I can assume. Y'all ever heard of Chubby Chasers? There's niggas out here who love big women. Same thing with women out here who love a guy. Some some women out here love a bald guy. Some women out here love a guy with a six pack. Some women out here love a guy with a, a belly. Oh my gosh, I love his dad bod. You know, like, look, that's why it's so important to love yourself. When you love yourself, you're able to attract people who just genuinely love you for you too. And who will love your dad bod, who will love your big body, who will love your zits, who will love your fucked up hair, who will love whatever. If you own who you are, you love who you are, regardless of what the world thinks. You will attract the people who are for you. Instead of trying to change who you are to try to get in the good graces of people who weren't even meant to be for you. This is deep. And it's so sad that women have to come on these podcasts to coach you on how to be confident in yourself and how to value and love yourself. It should be the other way, other way around, right? Men should be leading, but they're saying nothing of value. The women are bringing the value to the show. And then they have the nerve to try to shame the same women who are actually trying to put them up on game. Ain't that crazy? It's wild behavior. Boom, inside of, uh, like, I can envision a world where you're the only human being who's inside of the and world. And guess what? I'll and never be the, the only one who thinks I'm hot, and I know that bugs the yeah, yeah, shit yeah, yeah. out of you. If you're the only human being who's insecure. Just because you're insecure and you see yourself as a four, it does not mean that by your own perception, you should project your own insecurities onto the woman. And that's what a lot of these Manosphere Red Pill dudes do. A lot of guys with no game, they will do just that. They're going to put their own perception and project their own insecurities onto women out here, right? And the women are going to be turned off. They're not going to be attracted. They're going to leave you, right? They understand that they're dealing with an insecure ass nigga. No matter how much muscles he has, no matter how much money or status he has, he's still an insecure little bitch, all right? And that encompasses most of the Manosphere and Red Pill. I'm just letting you know. Black Pill, whatever motherfucking pill. Okay? So, we're going to wrap the video right here because honestly, she has really shut these niggas down. 100% shut these niggas down. You feel me? It is very sad that in this day and age, women are leading men. Okay? Women are leading men. So, <laughs> um yeah man let me know what you think in the comment section down below um i know this is a very uh controversial topic but i'm all for it you know I, i'm the always i've always been the type to go against the grain you know i've never been a sheeple follower ass nigga and i'm standing on exactly what i said in this video so if you got something to say hey it's a free forum go down below comment your thoughts let me know what you think in the comment section down below other than that if you need some help because you feel like an insecure little bitch too and something triggered you make sure you hit the link in my description down below to book a call with me all right we can assess your specific situation and i can give you some advice also make sure you go cop the merch true to the game merch is out true to the game is on the front stop simping is on the back and if you are pimping out a simp like this video comment your thoughts down below hit the subscribe button select all notifications so you do not miss an upload where I'm getting you closer to being a pimp less of a simp. I will see you in the next one. And last but not least, I'm out this thing. Stay true to the game.